Today, I want to talk about Time Tracker, which is a feature that we have been expecting so long from Asana, and now we have it available. It is great. We have been waiting for this for so long. We can track now our time, so we could say, yeah, we can get rid of harvest, right? But it's not so simple because we also use tools like harvest to see metrics and to make decisions based on those metrics so we want to compare the budget that we have created for a specific project and the measure the actual time that we have spent for that project and beyond that we want to see if the time that we have tracked is it is this billable for the client or not so this is something that asana is still lacking in the reporting side but we know they are working on this and sometime this year we hope that we can have better reporting but for now we're trying to replicate what we are used to work with on harvest in reportings in asana so we needed to create for this client a turnaround because we identify that creating these projects when we want to compare estimated time with actual time we were encountering with a situation that we cannot filter actual time per assignee. We can filter actual time per creator. And not necessarily the person that created the task is the person that will have the task assigned. In most cases, we tend to assign tasks to other team members. So we are the creators, but we are not the person that is going to work on the task and track the time for that task. So as a turnaround, we created a fake project that is actually private only for reporting purposes where all tasks will land in that project. And we created rules so that every time that there's a new task in that project assigned to person A, will change a, a custom field that we have created so that we can identify that is person A and so on. I want you to note that this is a good solution is just a quick win for a small team when you have let's say less than 15 persons 10 persons in your team but when we're talking on a larger team meaning a company that has a lot of team members involved or an enterprise this might not be the best solution so if you're a big company this might not be the solution for you if you're a small team this could be perfect for now while Asana is working on improving and actually providing really good reportings on time. So we created certain charts here. We will have numeric charts where we can identify total hours that the team has tracked within the last day, last week, and last month. This is something we're used to measure in harvest. So why not having it also here in Asana since we're now tracking our time in asana then we can identify here total time spent per project and we can compare it with estimations that we have made for those projects when we say total time spent and total time estimated is the entire time from the creation of a project but then we want to go beyond that the total time spent we want to see how much of that total time was actually spent within the last week so we provide here actual time per project within the last week and we compare it with the estimation that we have created initially but for the next week so that we can see how the workload per project is looking like I know that we have workload in the portfolios and we are used to work with them. But for the people that make the decision, meaning project managers, CEOs, again, this is for a small companies, this is for small teams. So having them and asking them to go to so many places, to go to portfolios to see the workload and then go to reporting and then go to this project might be difficult. They want to be able to see at a glance the entire reporting and make the decisions they need to make. So we kind of replicated the solution we have in portfolios with the workload, but here in reportings. So that in one place, they have all the information that they need. Next, we can see 
the actual time per assignee within the last week. So we're breaking down this actual time spent per project now by assignee within the last week so that we can see how our team members are spending their time. And if they're at capacity or not, we compare it also with the time they will need to spend on projects, so the estimated time for the next week. Again, this too, it comes from information we already have in portfolios in our workloads, but we don't want the people that make the decision. We don't want you as a CEO having to see here a chart with the actual time that your team spent on a project within the last seven days and then having to go to portfolios and take a look at the workload for next week to see where their time is going next week and if they're going to be at capacity or not. So we are summarizing that here in your reportings. Next, we're doing a breakdown of the estimated time per week, the total estimated time, so that you can identify peaks on weeks that you will require more time from your team members. And next, we are breaking down the actual time spent per week so that we can compare. If, if we are doing the budgets of the time correctly or if we need to adjust it. Then we can see here that actual time spent by week per team member so that we can also make those comparisons and identify if we're doing correctly the budget for the time they would need for their projects. Again, this is a really good solution for a small team. If you have less than 15 team members, this is something you can implement within easily within an hour, uh, a couple of hours, depending on how many tasks you have. You may need to create a project and set certain rules in place so that every time a, a task is added to that project you created and has certain assignee, then those tasks are going to be um, updated with a field with their name. Okay. But once you do it and once all your team members set the rules from my task, all you need to do is work with your reporting the rest of the work will be already in your projects. So let us know if you have questions, if this is something you would like to go deeper. We are free to help you set this up. Just let us know in the description of the video. You will find a link so that you can have a conversation with us and help you set this up for your team.